Hi everyone, it's Mr. Teabag again from the Caribbean. Another serious video, but thanks for tuning in and also thanks to those who have chosen to donate to support my work down here and the risk speaking out in these uh, corrupt times. Now, here's a question for you. If, say, four months ago, I had blurped out online that in four months from now, in April 2020, the whole world would be shut down and you would all be locked up and you had lost all sports, entertainment, weddings, parties, anything that gives us joy as human beings. And they're putting roadblocks everywhere and they're sealing off every country, every town. You can't travel anywhere. And if you do, you'll be interrogated like they did during the Second World War by the Gestapo. Wouldn't you have told me you're a freaking nutcase? I'm sure you would. But that has happened. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's reality in many countries already. And some are even more advanced in their totalitarian results. Others are just coming into it. You see, the evil, nasty elite are staggering their programs, Sustainable Development Plan 2030. It's been around for a long time. I'll look up the NASA war document and you'll see what shit slide we're actually on right now. And there's a lot of people delusion saying, oh yeah, when things open up again, I'm going to do this and going to do that. And they're watching movies and eating popcorn and thinking that everything's going to come back to normal. Well, the normal before this kicked in ain't going to be there anymore. I just want to talk a little bit more about the conspiracy theorist word. Who invented that? The very same cabal who are screwing us all up right now. They've come up with uh, terrorist, dissident, home terrorist, extremist, anything with ist on the end, they invented. And now, if you speak out soon, it's going to be illegal to speak out and say the truth. It is already by the Google Thought Police and all the social media. We're being attacked, having channels pulled down, or at least I've had two videos pulled down. I just managed to uh, adjust one and put that back up again, but we'll see how long that lasts. So there's so much crap going on. The first casualty of war is the truth. I think the whole world should have just attacked all the government straight away when they locked Julian Assange up. A true hero who put a platform out there for the truth to come out, for investigative journalism to survive, but it didn't. And that should have been a huge warning sign if you hadn't picked up on the thousands of warning signs over the years leading up to this shit show. Excuse my French. Anyway, a person being called a conspiracy theorist is a critical thinker. It's an objectivist. Exactly what they don't want. They don't want you to question anything. They want you dumbed down. They want you to be obedient to any unfair, inhumane, totalitarian request or demand. And it's amazing how shocked they get when you won't bow to their demands. Well, some birds just ain't meant to be caged. I can promise you I'm one of them. And a saying I got from uh, Brian at High Impact Vlogs, who's by the way had a lot of videos knocked off and now he just got uh, another strike. So his channel may be cancelled soon. But he said, I would rather live in dangerous freedom than in safe decaying slavery what about you or are you gonna go you can do anything to me just keep me safe all the way to the gallow is that how you're gonna be because their plan is to get rid of seven billion people and now it doesn't matter whether you come in with a tooth infection a stomach problem or whatever you're a coronavirus victim straight away very dangerous times we live in right now and people just ain't waking up because it's so comfortable to believe in the lamestream media narrative but remember what they're good at and they're damn good at it distract deceive divide and conquer i've never seen so many changes in such a short period of time yet the sheeple of the world are still asleep and then they criticize people like me for coming out and warning them well there's another proverb only the paranoid survive. So I'd rather be paranoid right now based on all the things that are happening and then come out the other end and say, well, maybe I purchased too much of that. Maybe I prepared myself too much in this, but at least I was safe. Then the opposite, be caught with your pants around your ankles. And a lot of people are about to be caught with their pants around the ankles. And how do I look at things here? Well, I just look at, are things getting freer or more totalitarian? And every day almost, they are robbing some of our sovereign rights. And that could be a new rule. Now they just closed all the beaches here. Oh, you're not allowed to go and exercise and get sun. That's supposed to be good to fight viruses, to get some vitamin D, get some sunlight. No, no, 
It's social distancing. Yet when they arrest you, they want to throw you in a tight little cell with 100 other people. What happened to social distancing now? Hypocrites. Anyway, I've got a list I'm going off here, so just excuse me for looking down now and then. There's a lot of people who argue over whether this is a virus or whether it's caused by 5G or what it is. Well, I don't really think it matters too much anymore how the hell it started. What we are losing track of is what freedoms we are losing. The governments are using this assault on humanity, this planned assault, to strip us from human rights, civil rights, property rights. And if you're delusioning yourself thinking that that's going to come back to normal where it was, you're kidding yourself. Now, there's a 20 pound note in UK that came out not so long ago, but before all of this started going down the, the drain. And that has the 5G tower on it with beaming rings beaming at a smart city. Have you heard of these smart cities before? I said in the previous video, if you wanted to kill ants in a forest with an ant spray, it would be a daunting job to kill them all individually. But if you can get them into hives, then you could really go to work. And that's what this 5G and the smart city is about on the very note. So that's planned, okay? And above it, we have the coronavirus sign. And that's put on a goddamn note. Come on, wake up, folks. If this was some accident that broke out with some snakes or bats in some market in Wuhan, then you wouldn't find the virus on a note or a 5G tower on a goddamn note either, would you? And there's many more things that's been exposed about the big deceit about this whole thing. Now, let's just take the Vodafone boss from UK. He just had his video ripped down because he was exposing everything about 5G. And, of course... The narrative didn't suit the totalitarian Nazis, so they pulled down his video. And there's a lot of videos being pulled down right now that's censoring to the max. And as I said before, the first casualty of war is the truth. Because they need to get so much ahead of us on their new legislation, new totalitarian rules, that when we finally wake up, then it's too late. You can't move. I made that video about being pushed into the quicksand of tyranny. When you're too far into a pile of quicksand, you can't fight anybody. You're just trying to stay afloat so you don't start gulping down muddy water. And that's why we're heading really fast. Anyway, the next thing. If there was a toe disease 50 years ago that had broken out, say, in New York, and the president had come out and said, we now have 450 cases, would they shut down New York, New Orleans, Denver, the whole damn country? No damn way. So is there any reason you should kill off 7 billion people, even if a million people were dying of some bioweapon disease, if it existed? No. Let's talk just a little bit about the 5G. The 5G, we're now seeing videos come out where birds are falling to the ground, flapping their wings because they fly past these 5G towers sitting next to a hospital. Surprise, surprise. So... If these 5G towers can make birds fall out of the sky, do you think it's any good for you? Well, I got a video through with a tree next to a light post, a 5G light post, which they've also put up, sneaky, sneaky bastards. And one side of the tree has no leaves on it and the bark's fallen off. The other side of the tree is a lot healthier. Now, everything's been done stealth and it's been put out there, broadcasted over the years, and then... The naive, stupid people say, oh, that's just conspiracy theory. Well, get a goddamn radiation meter and check it out. Inspect what you expect. So what if they are rogue and they're putting up all this nasty equipment while you're being kept in your prison, home prison, and they're erecting things like we're seeing even in Toronto. I got one the other day, a picture from there. They're erecting towers and people say, why the hell are they putting this up? This is 60 gigahertz frequencies that destroy your cells and the excretes from your cells create toxins that make you sick. And whoop, another coronavirus victim. Either you have a pre-existing illness or a bad flu or a respiratory problem. They also like picking on especially African Americans with uh, diabetes, overweight people. They seem to be able to check into the hospitals, but not many make it out again. Now, just think about it. If this was truly real, we would see the bodies. We would see the blood, the bloated faces. 
There was a whole lot of mannequins that was bought up in New York just leading up to this. Now you can probably try to guess what's in those body bags we get to see because that's all we get to see. Some body bags and we get told these trucks are full of uh, bodies and the lamestream media has crisis actors lined up to do film shoots in front of hospitals but all the independent people who go around and film those places straight afterwards see nobody. The hospitals are empty and they wonder where's all these people? Where's all this hype that just went on on TV? This is the main hospital in Bergamo in Lombardy province. It's one of the most advanced hospitals in Europe. But it's the most hard hit of all the hospitals. Once again this morning, the city's hospitals will be on the front lines in this war against the coronavirus. In Elmhurst, Queens, that hospital there, lines of people lining up already this morning for about the last 45 minutes. Confirmed cases, people waiting to get tested, supplies are in demand there. Somebody said there will be hordes of people inside, that's why I didn't go in. Let's see, the doctor with his mask on and everything. Look at that. Nobody. Completely empty. This is police, no EMS, nothing. Nothing, absolutely. Ghosts. That's all they got you afraid of ghosts. With the growing number of patients as supplies dwindle, you can see barricades behind us set up here outside of the hospital to keep order here because so many have been lining up every day to get tested. Where's the long lines of the people trying to get tested? I don't see that. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks like here in New York City. The mayor, the governor says our hospitals have been turned into war zones. Well, I want to give you an idea of what that war zone looks like here in downtown Brooklyn. So this is my neighborhood. This is the Brooklyn Hospital Center. And uh, again, you're hearing one thing on the mainstream media, and this is what it's like in reality. Distract, deceive, divide, conquer. Guviana means mind control. They're controlling people's minds to believe in a certain narrative. That's all that's necessary, perception. But if you're a true human being, you like reality. You inspect what you expect. We need to demand proof. And if they can't provide the proof, that means everything they're doing in terms of interrupting business, interrupting travel, interrupting our lives, screwing up our incomes and our savings and our investments, it's all a big attack on us, which I've been saying for a long time that they are doing and planning to do a lot more of. So they're setting traps all the time. We're falling into traps every time they put another restriction on us and we don't fight back against it. Or now you have to wear masks and gloves, otherwise you can't buy food. Now you can't travel between this time and that time outside your home or you get arrested or get fined. And now you can't go to the beach. And now you can't do this and that and the other thing. I mean, it's not going to stop. And this is where people are getting themselves delusion that they think all this is going to stop. No, governments don't like giving. They like taking. So once they've taken your liberty, it's just as hard to get back from them as if you had given them some money and asked for a refund. Good luck with that. Anyway, let's just say there was a situation where an ambulance pulled up in a neighborhood or in your neighborhood and you could see they're carrying out Fred Smith and the wife's out there holding his hand and she, she waves to the ambulance people and her husband going off to the hospital. And then you went over and talked to her and yeah, the, he might have coronavirus, don't come too close, etc. And then a couple of days later you ask, how is Fred? Yeah, well, he's stable now and they're doing tests and this and that and she's been in there a couple of times checking on him and everything's okay. He should be cleared within a week and ready to come home. Okay, then maybe we would believe it. But we don't hear any of those stories. I don't see any ambulances pulling up into any communities or apartment buildings. or You don't see people coming out of anywhere being put in an ambulance. No. They've got people far too brainwashed. All they need to do is just show some emergency wards with a whole lot of people in uh, paper suits and filter masks on and a couple of toes sticking out from the end of a hospital bed. And then we just go, ma and believe that crap. And through that, we're losing every single right we've ever had. 
human rights, civil rights and property rights. Isn't it time that we fight back? There's something called the Boston Tea Party. When they tried to put taxes on their tea, they revolted. It turned out to be a big battle and they poured all the tea into the harbor and you know, that tea uh, tax disappeared afterwards because people stood up for their rights. And that was just over one thing. We are being attacked. If you really dig into the rabbit hole of Agenda 21, we're being attacked in thousands of ways and having all our liberties taken away. They're changing the world forever unless we wake the F up and fight back. Because this is it. There's no second chance at this. Once they get you locked down too much, then the Orwellian book there by uh, George Orwell, 1984, becomes reality. So let's not buy their lies anymore. Lies, lies, lies. Are you going to let your life get screwed up? Your business or your job, your income, your freedom of movement, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, your right to party and have a good time? Are you going to let everything beautiful and good get screwed up just to believe in your government? Again, George Carlin, he said, the stage comedian, I don't trust anything my government tells me. They've got agendas and they involve money, control and power, hunger and sexual agendas and much more. If you dig down the rabbit hole, it's horrible. So if you're not willing to fight for freedom, then you probably don't deserve it. Okay, I was watching a video a Russian person showed me. A Russian doctor in Spain, he was speaking out about the hospital he worked in. Normally he would have 30 to 40 clients per day. That day he had had eight clients. None of them had coronavirus. He hadn't seen anybody yet with coronavirus, not in his clinic or in the entire hospital. So he said this is a big scam to take over the world and make it what they want it to be after this big tidal wave of tyranny has hit us. So wake up, folks. Now, here's the sad thing. While a lot of people are lazing around, waiting for shops and travel to reopen, they are busy implementing these nasty, nutsy bastards, new tyrannical laws to close down everything permanently. And how do you like to live in a society where it stays this way, where they want you to stay in your home jail all the time? Because you're not locked down. You are locked up and they are just going to strangle, 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 strangle everything you like, need, want, desire, appreciate, aspire to and admire. They're going to take that away and make it a very cold hearted society. I can feel it already here. People are not as happy. They don't sing anymore. You don't hear any music. Everything's becoming dead. And that's what evil shit is. Dead. All right. So again, fight. All right. I just want to talk about deceit because I said before, distract, deceive divide and conquer the deceit part let's talk about trump you know there's so many people that's been going on about you know trump he's going to come to the rescue and so forth and uh, he's fighting the deep state have you ever kind of considered that could be deceit as well well who was it that stood up in front of uh, the press and says there's a storm coming and when they asked trump what do you mean by that he wouldn't answer their question he just said you'll find out what storm mr president you'll find out Mr. President, what did you mean by calm before the storm yesterday? What did you mean by that? Thank you very much. After a wink and a pause. You'll find out. They're setting traps all the time, and we are already falling into some very big traps. We are going over the waterfall of chaos here, and it's almost too late to paddle up the river the other way. Now, Trump also came out with another statement at a press conference. It's from the channel High Impact Vlogs by Brian. Have a listen to what Trump, he says here. And we're getting better. We're getting better very quickly. This was artificially induced. We just said, they said, close it down. You have to close it down. We closed it down and we're healing and we're going to get it better fast. So, Mike, if you could come up. Say if now, what was it that he's saying was artificially induced? Because if he's saying the coronavirus was artificially induced, then why isn't he stopping the madness, the insanity of the lockdown? Well, I don't know what you make of it, but all I hear is another pile of lies and somebody trying to play the big savior of the world. I've heard about Trump's uh, QNAN and Q and all that, and he's going to come and save everybody. Where is he now? Where is he saving the world now? Why is he shutting down every gun shop in America and they've even taken away all the bullets and guns? 
What happened to the Second Amendment? What happened to even the militia forces? How come Trump's not yelling out, all militia, come and join our army at these camps because we have a big enemy to fight? None of that going on. I don't see the militia sticking their necks out yet. Maybe they're just waiting for crap to start going desperate in society and then maybe we'll see a few of them come out of their uh, hiding places and join forces. But I ain't seeing any resistance. So they're finding it a piece of cake so far. You know, they locked down the world and locked us up and they're taking away all our rights, implementing new uh, rules and laws constantly to remove every sovereign right that we are supposed to have for what life in the future. Now, another big question is, why are they doing this? What are their end goals? What's their objectives? Well, this exists in a few different videos. A good guy to listen to is David Icke. And it's very dangerous for him to even go to television interviews right now. And half the world is telling him he shouldn't go. We don't want to hear what you've got to say, etc. I mean, it's crazy when you think of it. But in my opinion, what you're going to see is new IDs. You can't move left, right or center without having one of their IDs. And the end goal is to get it in your body. And then we're going to live in an electronic world with the things of the Internet. Well, we don't need that. We need freedom, first of all. I love technology, but not at the price of giving away my rights and my freedoms in life. Then screw it. Then I'd rather live on a desert island and uh, throw coconuts into the water every day and live a probably more sane and healthy life out there. But if I'm going to live in a place where there's technology, let it be a choice. I want to choose everything from my skin inwards, what I do with my money, my assets, my property. That's my sovereign rights. That's a reflection of all my sacrifices, my risk-taking, any uh, intelligence I might have built by uh, learning and growing over the years, and the time and effort that you've put in, just the hours of grind. So if somebody wants to come and steal that from you, that's your life. And they've screwed up a lot of that with this big financial tsunami that they've caused by shutting the world down already. What do you think? All right, we're hearing some gruesome laws kicking into action, especially in places like UK, where they can cancel elections, which means whoever's in power can stay in power and is given ultimate power based on some understandings with the nasty, evil, Nazi elite above them in the New World Order, that they can do whatever they want to people in society. Actually, right now, like I said in the last video, we are under martial law. The courts are not operating. Now, in places like the UK, right now, while people are sitting around their sofas and fighting over who's going to have which lollies, they are rushing new legislation through to completely tighten up your way of life at the ass end of this whole shit show. And that's things like no elections. So if the people can't vote their own prime minister or president into place, well, then it's not a free society anymore. Right there, you have a totalitarian tyrant society and is that what you want and then only one signature needed at the hospital to sign off on somebody who died it used to be two the last guy who did this was hitler and they can also instantly according to these laws cremate people and we already as i said in the last video getting people coming up saying oh where's my sister where's my brother i want to see them sorry she's dead or he's dead and they've already been cremated there's some nasty, nasty stuff, I believe, going on behind the curtains that we are not being informed about. If you started in front of a bunch of sheep to slaughter other sheep and cut their necks open, what would all the sheep be doing? Panic. So they can't show the atrocities that they are causing. And in my opinion, there's three ways you can die from this thing. You're either coming in with a pre-existing illness of some kind, boom, coronavirus victim, or... You get beamed with 5G, coronavirus victim, or you jump out of a window, they'll put you down as a victim as well, or if you have an accident. And the third way is misbehavior according to the tyrannical rulers, laws, and uh, strict policies, you know. So the policy enforcers, the police, they're the ones forcing this on you. You must this, and you have to do this, and if you don't, we have the right to take you away, arrest you, lock you up, get rid of you. 
And down in uh, the south of this island, there's already a guy who argued with the police and they just pulled the gun out, boom, and blew him away. Judge, jury, executioner, on the spot. Do you want to live in a world where you have to be that scared because there's no due course? You don't have a right to a lawyer, you don't have a right to be heard by a judge? Because we are heading there really damn fast. So, like I think I covered in the last video, what can we do about it? Well, if you live in a country where there's a militia, join them in a hurry and encourage them to be paranoid and be super duper duper prepared because some birds aren't meant to be caged and if you're one of those who don't want to be kept under the thumbs or army boots of the tyrannical bastards that are taking over the world right now then you better join in a hurry and then you may say well what if they lock us up 24 7 like they've already done in some european countries in china 24 7 i mean this is like out of a bad freaking movie, isn't it? This is why people got such a hard time to even believe that this nasty evil shit's going on. But you just got to pay attention to what's happening in different countries and how it's going from bad to worse to horrible in the countries that are ahead of you. And then you know what's coming in your neighborhood soon. So I would sprint. I would prep like crazy. Weapons, food. Uh, you need to contact people. You need to know where to get things underground laid on so you need contact numbers and you may think mr t he's going crazy here well how long can you stand being locked up in jail even if it is your own home if it never gets lifted off are you prepared for that how long can you stand not having your telephone on or your internet holy shit have people become dependent on those cell phones so if they cut that off and your phone calls and the only electronic media you have access is to the lamestream media citizens stay calm big brother is going to take care of you even though you are running out of food and money and we're soon coming to take your property and throw you in one of our accommodations do you want that shit to happen to you well then start getting into action all right because they're closing all the doors every day i hear about a new thing that's been removed it's just been the beaches they shut down and today I hear all the towns are being closed in. Do you see how it's creeping in? What comes next? In between the towns, in the middle of the towns, checkpoints, checkpoints. Your life becomes a justification process if you are outside your home jail. And it is already now. I heard about a lady today who wanted to go down to a hospital a bit further south because her father has cancer twice she had to justify herself on the way down and twice on the way back so that's four life interruptions showing the same documents explaining the same bullshit to a bunch of tyrannical fuckers excuse my french now do you want to live in that and wake up and retaliate thanks for listening and don't forget to look after me if this has been a little bit eye-opening and giving you a little uh, electric shock to get back into the real world where we want to be then feel free to sponsor me on the link seen below thank you so much refer it before it gets taken down they've already kicked one video off relating to the uh, COVID-19 scamdemic so uh, please share it around subscribe if you haven't and fight hard take care